Hey you guys, it's Vijaya back at you with another video and today I'm going to show you how to make my cheesy zucchini bread which is a highly requested recipe. I posted this to my Instagram stories not too long ago and all of you guys messaged me to say make this on YouTube uh, and so here we are. And the recipe came about when I had a ton of zucchini left in the fridge and had to figure out how to use it up. It is so delicious, it's savory, it's cheesy, it's all the things and it has a ton of zucchini in it. But before we get started, don't forget to hit me up on my social media channels. And of course, if you're looking for the full recipe, just click that info box down below and everything you need is there. Let's make some bread together. All right, so the star of the show today is of course, zucchini. I had to do that little flip for you guys. Also known as courgette. And the key for shopping for a zucchini is to make sure that it's nice and shiny and firm, which is the one that I have here today. It's perfect and we're gonna get grating. I have a box grater here, it's on the biggest side. This is the tiny side, this is the big side, just to clarify, and we're gonna get grating. And I love grating zucchini because it's so, so easy, and we're looking to grate about a cup. Now here's the fun part, we have all this grated zucchini, and now we have to get as much of the zucchini juice out of it, okay? Because the less moisture there is, the more successful this bread will be. So we're gonna take little fistfuls of the zucchini like this, and we're gonna squeeze, Look at all that juice, it's crazy, to get as much juice out as possible. Ooh, use all your muscles for this one. And then we're gonna drop it into this bowl and we're gonna do the same for the rest. So while we have our grater out here, let's make use of it and grate up some cheese because of course this is a cheesy zucchini bread and today I am using old cheddar. I find that old cheddar holds up so much better in terms of flavor in this bread or you can use Gruyere or Emmental. And we're gonna finally slice up some green onions. Now we're moving on to the dry ingredients. So I have a bowl of all-purpose flour here, and to that I'm gonna add some baking powder, which is gonna act as our leavener, as well as a little bit of salt and some black pepper, and we're gonna whisk this up until it's nice and incorporated. Now let's get our wet ingredients prepped. Into this bowl, I'm adding two large eggs, a little bit of milk, and some olive oil. And we're gonna whisk this up until it's nice and smooth. And now everyone's going to join the party. So into my wet ingredients, I'm gonna add my zucchini and we're gonna give that a nice stir until it's nice and incorporated. And then I'm gonna follow up by adding my dry ingredients. And we're gonna mix this up somewhat, not too much. I still wanna see some streaks of white flour. And then we're gonna fold in our grated cheese and green onions until no streaks of white flour can be seen. I have a loaf tin that I've greased with a little bit of butter and in goes the batter. And we're gonna smooth it out into one even layer. And this is gonna go into a 350 degree oven for 50 minutes until it's nice and cooked through in the middle and golden and crusty on top. And this is what it looks like when it's done, you guys. I can't even tell you, my kitchen smells so good right now. What I did was I let it cool down in the tin and then I transferred it to a wire rack and then it's been cooling for a little bit. And now is the time to tuck in. So I have my serrated knife here. We're gonna attack this guy. Let's do it. And wow, take a look at that. You can see all of those green onions, the cheese. I'm loving the cheese to bread ratio here. Let's give it a taste. My mouth is already watering. Let's do this. It's so good. Mmm. Mmm. The thing I love about this bread is that it's nice and crusty on the outside, especially with those little specks of cheese poking out. They've caramelized beautifully, but on the inside, it is so tender, so flavorful, and that combination of black pepper, spring onions, and cheese is just a winner. So many people think that it's tough to make bread at home, but this one is so, so easy, and it's a great one to impress friends with. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to give me a big ol' thumbs up. You know how that makes me feel. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe for more videos. As always, if you have a question, comment, concern, or anything that you wanna get off your mind, leave it in the comments box down below. Until my next, my next video, <laughs> I'll see you all later. Bye.